A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Simon Days to Die Darkness Falls mod. So as you can see we are finally making some progress over here. We have our cement mixers making some mix over here which means we don't have to buy any. If we really needed some more we could buy more. But yeah we don't have to buy any more anymore that's gonna be awesome. Uh, only problem is with this since we place it down we cannot pick up any of these workstations since for some reason you can claim Jen's place you can claim Rex's place but you can't claim these. I think that's because of the fact that it's obviously way too OP at the beginning of the stage. Even Anna's place. Anna's place is also, I think, like 40k HP. So it's too OP. So no, no, no. You can't claim it. You can not You can repair it, but you can't claim it. Um, but yeah, when we move, we'll have to hopefully make another one or get another one of this. And then I'm already starting to see if I can't collect enough resources to be able to make the chem station again. We have the beaker. We have uh, more of this. We're going to need some acid. Because we only have one left, you need five. And I also need to make some more forged iron, but currently I am making these dart ammos for my base, or uh, for the Lord Knight. So what I'm going to do is, let's just quickly go and grab the claw hammer. Because we have 700, and we're just going to quickly go and upgrade this horde base over here. I also want to go, oh yeah, during nighttime I went and mined over here. I've got about 10,000 oil shale, and that's what I'm busy making over here now. Only thing is, I think it stacks to 10k of the fuel, and let me just make sure there's enough space. Nine slots. Yeah, there, no, there's not enough space. <laughs> Every now and then I have to come check that this isn't overflowing over here. But now we don't have to worry about fuel for a super, super long time. And I just realized, Molotov, wait, not Molt, Molotov, we can make this one over here. So all we need right now is some of that, and some of that, and then we can make Molotovs. Boom. 50 more monitors. Obviously, it's going to be way too much for current use. But yeah, we'll be able to use it. That's awesome. Now, I just want to make sure that at least the walkway over here, this we have to repair as well. I'm hoping we have some spare cobble left because I think I changed most of it. Okay, let's just make a few more. We have 1,000, 2,000, 2,500 cobble over here plus the 265 over here. So we almost have 3,000 cobble, which means after Horde Night, we are moving. Although, I want to see if we can't make the insulated, insulated line over here. If we have enough notes, we might be able to make four of them and go live in the snow biome. Unlike last time when we uh, did, when we, in the first attempt of Darkness Falls, we went to the snow biome and we, run out, we ran out of stamina and food and water instantly. That's how cold it is over there. Now we don't have to worry anymore because obviously now... If we get the insulator liner, that's going to help. And we can put some points over here into Survivor. So you have the, if you have the insulator liner and you have like this over here uh, completely unlocked, you don't have to worry about the cold at all. So I want to put some mods into this thing over here. Nope. Who's where? Where are you? Hello, 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 hello. I have to be careful. Sometimes even though she's vomiting that way, it can hit you behind. Okay, so the way we do this... Um, I'm going to upgrade this, and then right in the corner over there, yeah, we need some cobble first. Just stop that. Make that. Right in the corner over there, there's a block you can't see in between the two that we upgraded just now. So we want to make sure that the, the ramp, the full block, and the stairs on top of each other, all of these, are concrete. If they're all concrete, we don't have to worry about a thing. These have already been upgraded. We already went for this one in the corner that you can't see. This over here took barely any damage during Horde Night. I want to make sure that we at least do this in case they start doing damage, but the fact that during Day 7 they didn't do any damage over here, the only damage was basically over here. Means all we have to do is go and upgrade these. I think we already got that corner block, so let me do this. We do that. And then the block underneath the top staircase, this uh, staircase over here. The full block underneath you can upgrade like this. So if you do this, you can see now the block underneath this one is also concrete already. That's basically what you have to do, especially with the middle. On the sides, if it was only too wide, you can see the sides. You can easily do the sides. But this full block underneath the middle, you can't get to that because there's a ramp. A ramp underneath stays on top and then other blocks are beside them. Oh wait, I just messed up. I think that's four over there. I have to make sure as we go, you check these as well. Yeah, this side we already got all the way to the top. If I miss any blocks, that's going to cause structural issues. That one over there, that one over there. 
It's way safer going for the corner like this than it is hanging over the side to see, ooh, did I get it or not? I know I'm wasting quite a bit of concrete right now getting this to concrete, but I don't care. <laughs> they say when they tore into these stairs like crazy. I wonder if I should make a hole over there. If I could just make sure this stands for one more hoard, that's all I'm asking. Then from the next hoard, I'm going to keep making concrete. And from the next hoard, we'll have our new base, our own standalone base. I messed up just now. I keep moving just before it does the second hit so it doesn't upgrade the block. Unfortunately, uh, that block... No, wait, wait, this is just too wide, so it's no, there's no unfortunately. Since there's no middle block, no third block, we can upgrade everything from the bottom over here. Now all of this is uh, concrete holding everything up. So as long as we just make these corner blocks like so, concrete, like the second block going all around, because this is where zombies stand and smack on the blocks. And we make sure that the walkway over there is concrete, that's all we're looking for. I might even go and make... But you don't have enough concrete left. That over there, that second uh, row, also technically needs to be concrete. Just in case they dig into that. But, since this over here is holding all the weight, we should probably make sure that this is upgraded first. Okay. As far as I can see, everything that needs upgrading is upgraded. This over here, just before the horde, you basically have to go over here. And please don't break a leg. Stand on the edge without bumping your head. You jump. And you place it right there. You saw during the last horde how well that worked, except for spiders. Spiders are still able to make that jump from that angle. If I can put something over here just to knock them off, but the problem is then we won't be able to see easily. If I make like a ramp block, like this one, or if I just go and do... What's that one? Uh, this one. On face. If I perhaps do that, but the see-through one, we'll still be able to see and shoot, but then if the spider jumps, it's going to bump its head and fall down that way. I think that's going to be the best course of action right now. So we do this one, we do this one. On face, perfect. By doing that, if the spiders see us, they won't be able to uh, make this jump and they won't be able to interfere with us. Perfect. I need to make sure that goes all the way to the top as well so the zombies can't accidentally climb on it. So from the top side over here, we're just going to keep on going by copying shape and rotation and boom. Is that a wandering? Yeah, that's a wandering horde. Okay, yeah, that's a... Please, no, they disappeared already. That was so fast. They basically instantly despawn just now. I need the XP. Oh, well, anyways, if they don't want to mess with me, I don't want to mess with them. So we're going to put the rest of the resources and stuff away quickly. And then I think we can do like two or three scout quests. Uh, just quickly run through those for the rewards. And then we're going to be facing the day 14 horde today. And I'm really terrified of this. But yeah, I'll see you guys over at the trader's place. The next points I get, I should probably put into like the beehive. Can I make the beehive yet? Yeah, I have no, but there is a schematic. Uh, you can do living off the land or basic farming tips. So basic farming tips, I think, are over here somewhere. Yeah, we can put one point in here and then we can actually make ourselves the beehive. So we can get honey that way. That's one point that we have to put into. I wanted to put points into the pistol, but there's really no point. Like I said, the legendary doesn't matter what level has eight mod slots. And you just wanted to shoot, you just want to shoot like a demon or whatever once to make sure they're not regening and then you can take it down. Okay, so, let's see. What are you looking for? Any jobs? Ooh, okay. We can actually run through all of these Don't quickly. Forget. The quicker we can run through these, the, the better, because then we'll be able to just quickly go face the order as well. We don't want to make the, the episode too long by doing too many quests, but if I could just shut up, do the quest, come back, hand it in, just for times five, we'll be able to do the quest, uh, the horde nights without having to go too far over time. Okay, so we are going to go on the hill like this. Uh, we could use the explosives, but we could use the Molotovs as well. I'll chuck one explosive right there. Not that we can really set it off at, uh, off at the moment with this, but yeah, let's see. See, we technically need to keep some wooden frames on us so we can go up without having to waste the explosives over here. Do that. Now, if they're still alive, we can use a Molotov, but there's going to be very few of them left. So we just do this, do this. Times five. If we can just quickly run through those like this, we'll be able to do all five quests, get double rewards, and face the horde. That's perfect. I think mechanic might just be my new favorite class to start with. Okay, double rewards. Let's see. Double shotgun. Why not? Jobs. Lady Killer. Let's go. 
But yeah, we might actually be able to play with a thug as well. Do this. Do this. Do this. The moment they get closer here, they're going to get shocked. And we can also use a monitor. But they die so fast from the turret anyway, so we don't really have to do this. I want to help my turret so it doesn't waste all its ammo, but by the time I do anything, it's already shot all the enemies. Oh, oh did we just get a lever action? Uh, yes, lever action rifle. If I put some points into rifle crafting, I need to put one more in there so it doesn't go under level uh, 20. Nice, now we'll be able to shoot way more shots than just with this one. Hello, 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 let's just stand over here. So I'm just quickly going to do this. I'm going to go modify, do this. Do this, do this, and reload. Why is my turret- Oh, my turrets are down. <laughs> I was about to say, why is my turret not doing anything? Oh, it's five shots, but yeah, the cursor gets massive after you hit it. But I really want right now some learning elixir, but unfortunately, I don't Come think this trader has it. Let's get this over with. I mean, obviously, you don't want to level get too fast, but at the same time, store. you want to level. It's you need those real. points. What are you looking okay, for? so, rad remover, yes, thank you. Steak and potato for food, thank you. Jobs. Mercy back to health. I'm putting off the Silence of the Lambs till later, because that's a Screamer one that spawns with other zombies as well. Okay, I kind of messed up with this one, unfortunately, so I had to do this just now. Uh, I'm going to put the turret right there to help us. And then from over here, we can just start the quest. Technically, we can help the turret as well with this gun, but unfortunately, every time I shoot, the cursor gets insanely huge. And there's a massive recoil. I have to put something on for the re uh, to deal with the recoil then. And then you... Yeah, turret, just do your thing. You got this. You got this. Okay, no loot. Damn. I think I'm gonna put the turret on the roof and point it at the vultures tonight. High power, hunting rifle. We can actually sell the hunting rifle. Don't forget. Okay, so apparently these just pre-spawn with zombies, but I could have sworn an A21 that could actually have their own zombies of their own. I'll just do this. Do this, please don't roll away. Thank you. Do this. Do this. Oh, that one just rolled away. That's bad. I didn't put my turret down, oh no. Okay, they're gonna burn super super fast because of the molotovs, and then we can just do that. Stand over here. And anyone still alive will get shot. Nice, nice, nice. Have to be careful. Just because it has a proc chance for shocking doesn't mean it is going to shock. Nice. The Hezabam over here helps you with your rifle. Hip fire spread, minus 25%. Aim fire spread, minus 25%. So when I'm zooming like this and I shoot and the cursor gets huge across the whole screen, it deals with that. That's awesome. Okay, Great double job. rewards. Let's see. Pistol, thank you. Times four scope. Yes. That's going to go great with my new lever action rifle. If it has another mod slot, which it does not, so we'll just do this. And now we can actually go and put the cripplum on this one. But this one still needs a rad remover. Awesome. Now that we have the rad remover, this thing's going to be able to take down the, the rads that spawn in a tier 4 scout quest. You want to always make sure that you have a few grenades just put out like this. And it's way safer doing these things over here, next to a tree. Ooh, that stump nearly stopped me just now. Then so we do this, we do this, we do this, we do this. Awesome. Most of them should be dead now, so we can do that, jump down, and anything still alive will get shot by the turret. Come on. Come on. Nice. Perfect. I know there's a little bit of overkill to use that many grenades, but we need to do this quickly. If I had my turret down pointing at this thing, we would have been able to get uh, done faster as well. There are so many things I want to put points in, but I think first things first should be my parkour. We need to be able to jump two blocks high, it's going to save us so much time and effort. Okay, I only have tier 2 quest left, and then teach me better. How many coins do we have? 7,000. So we don't have to buy any more concrete mix now. We can actually buy... Ah, uh, no. Uh, teach me better. Let's go for the pistol crafting first. Better craft. Oh, no, that's all my cash now. Gone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
I almost forgot. We can go and do this. We have now double rewards, so we're able to get that. We don't have any XP Lexus, so we can just will accept these now for the points. Boom, boom, boom. Three points just like that. Which means we just got reached level 40 as well. Nice. Um, so we want to go for science crafting so we can make tier 3 mods. Almost there. Uh, click the crafting so we can craft stuff faster. That's also going to help in our forges with the, the turret ammo. And I should probably put a point over here as well. But first things first. Oh, cool. Can jump one block from crouching. Oh, I need to do the third one over here to be able to jump two blocks like this. But now while crouching, you can jump higher as well. Hey, asshole. Now that okay, you so job, uh, double rewards. Let's take the after all. 762. And then it's a shame it doesn't have 0.4. Since we have the turret, we can use this in case we run out of the dart uh, ammo. It's not going to be as powerful. Oh, we can actually go for this. For a bow. Yeah, let's go for that. For a bow. I almost forgot about that. Although we also have the pistol we have to think about for Wood Knight. So we can go for this one. What was that? Uh, Zombie Slayer. Why is the Zombie Slayer only giving me notes? Let me just quickly do this. Talk to him well, again. You proved me wrong. Now Harvesting. Okay. Uh, rifle notes. Let's go for that one. What was that? Why did the zombie slayer turn into something else just now? It turned into harvesting. That wasn't my imagination just now, right? Sake, okay, now? so we can sell this, this. The shotgun we can keep. The pistol we will keep. This one's better than ours, which is awesome, which means it can hold one more mod as well. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to go back to the base, guys. I'm going to drop everything off, grab all the ammo, grab all the loot, and then we will be facing the day, the, the day 14 horde. See you guys then. Okay, we're going to be facing the day 14 horde. We've made all the preparations we possibly could. We've got double rewards. We've got better weapons. Um, yeah, we're going to be facing the warrior difficulty. A minimum of 15 minute horde night. 64 blood moon spawn at nightmare speed. And then our explosives can kill us as well. This should be interesting. Also guys, remember how we put a point into the quicker crafting? I'm so glad we did. The dart ammo, instead of like 144 minutes, now only takes like 22 minutes. So just putting that one point in there reduced the time on the dart ammo like crazy. To make, I think, like 100 and something took me 38 minutes. Now we're making 400 and something and it's only taking 22 minutes. So that one point was definitely worth it. But now I want to see how many points we can get from this Horde Knight. And then we have to start specking into stuff that we really need. I also made the insulated liners. We had one in the helmet already, but I didn't know that. So I made four. And yeah, now we should be able to go live in the snow biome. But if it's still not enough, hopefully we get enough points to put into the survivor skill under the survivalist. And the survivalist over here, survivor skill. If we can go over here, it'll help us even more. But now all of the armor pieces have the insulated liner, except this one I had to remove the cooling mesh. But yeah, look at this. 22 minutes for 402, just because we have the one point in there. That's awesome. Okay, I put a little bit of more of a roof just in case there's vomit from vultures and stuff. And with the concrete from over there, I went and upgraded like the second layer all the way around because they're going to break through this gate. That gate took an insane amount of damage last time. I also went and I broke through over here to do this so we can throw some molotovs. But we have to be careful and repair that. And the nice thing about this roof, the scaffolding, we do that for the vultures. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Pick it up, reload. So this is going to be interesting. This should be awesome. What if I should keep it open or closed? It's a door, so no matter what, the zombie should still path properly. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Is that a mutated footballer? No, no, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, as for the pistol, I actually went and put all of the stuff from this one on the pistol. The advanced, uh, advanced pistol is better than our other weapons. Yep. Remember, they looked like they weren't coming, so I was like, yeah, let me just go fetch them. That could have been bad. Make sure they're burning. Ho, 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 ho. And luckily, we have this for repairs. If they constantly just make sure we're repairing the doors and stuff. I want to make sure we're constantly also throwing molotovs because we need the XP. We could actually have three turrets active at a time thanks to our mechanic class. Remember these vomiters and explodey dudes? When they explode downstairs on dirt, they don't make a hole at all, which is awesome. That's why I made the base the way it is right now, so we don't have to worry about the floor down below. If I had made a concrete floor, that would be taking so much damage right now. It's weird how it works. Actually, I don't accidentally walk outside. I should probably put this upstairs already. Just in case any vultures appear. I'm just hoping that doesn't try and shoot through over here and hit the enemies. 
It slightly obscures our view, but that's fine. Oh, they're getting radiated ones as well. Damn. What I really need to make next is the liquid nitrogen mod. So our turret has the shocking mod, and we have to do liquid nitrogen. Shocking only has a 30% chance to proc. But the liquid nitrogen has like 50%, along with the... Feel the fire one. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> mod. Yeah, flammable oil, 50%. The liquid nitrogen 50% and the shocker only 30%. I'm just glad we got this proper weapon from, uh, from the rewards. We had a pistol as well, but the blue pistol was weaker than the blue advanced pistol. Because obviously the advanced pistol is advanced, it's more damage. I have to make silences for all of my weapons as well. Although I think currently my weapons, if they're, sil if they're silenced, they do less damage. Can I kill you? Thank you. I'm trying to not shoot my own... Sledge turret, because if you shoot your own sledge turret, you can do some damage to it. Every now and then we just have to close the windows. Also be careful of spiders. Okay, and then... Do this. The turret hasn't shot anything at all yet, so that means there's no vultures. If I could get the pump shock, and that'd be amazing right now. Be careful, Jean. These weapons are so loud. I wonder if I shouldn't save the shotgun for the vultures. And for now, I only use explosives and the pistol. Although, with the thousand rounds that we have for the pistol, we're going to run out so fast. Oh, uh, as soon as we reach level 50, I'm going to put a point into the science crafting so we can make the feel the heat mod. It basically turns the pistol into an automatic weapon. Although, I have the fully auto mod on this, so I can just hold down the button and auto already. But it makes the pistol even faster than that. Oh, explodey dogs. What if I do this? How many enemies are going to get hit by that? It falls down to where they are downstairs. So that should hit a few, right? Nice. That is actually hitting something. Oh no, my turret broke. No, it didn't. Oh, for a moment I panicked. We have to see if we can't make a better sledge as well. Because we put all the points into the sledges. Mechanic. Uh, yeah, well, since we went for this, we can actually make ourselves level 51s, perhaps even level 61s if we're lucky. There's still a, a bug with a shotgun, but sometimes if you're shooting and then you try and zoom, you can't zoom. Like, it keeps firing or keeps zooming from the hip instead of zooming, aiming down the sights. See, these guys are OP, you have to be careful of them. Especially when they phase like that, sometimes they can phase through blocks, I've noticed. It's been a while since I've actually seen it, but they do still do it. Be careful of spiders when I do this. Oh wow, yeah, uh, it's a good thing we had some cobble on us. I almost forgot since I'm using this door over here, they're doing a lot of damage around the door. I'm so glad I took that resource with me, damn. They keep doing that, which bothers me. It's like they're trying to outsmart- look at that, he's actually inside the block. Inside the bar. They're trying to out, uh, outsmart the design, and that at a point that's going to work. See, when they try and jump this way like she just did, she didn't want to try and jump there, she tried jumping over here. The sledge is going to help, and this is in the way now. They're going to hit the smooth side or the ramp side, they're going to fall down. have to be careful. Sometimes if you're unlucky, the vomit from all the cop-like enemies can set off the grenades in your hands. As long as they don't explode on the walkway over there, I'm good to go. Looks like everything's going really well at the moment. Did I just hear a mountain lion? Or is that just a dog sound? I keep forgetting we don't have to click 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 the button, we can just hold down the button. Nice. Although, this is an easy way to just eat through ammo. Okay, there's a vulture already. I didn't realize this. Someone told me last time when I got all the vultures, um, yeah, you should know by now that the vultures come out in droves at midnight. I never paid attention to the time. 
I always noticed the vultures, but I never paid attention to when they came out. You should also, while they fall through like this, just go for all of the feathers. You don't really need the feathers that much, but yeah, it's nice to have it. Just in case. Yeah, yeah, you guys won't get me this time. Come on. Get your butt down here. Okay, I want to see what kind of damage they've done to the walker already. But for that, I'll have to open up the window and if a vulture comes in or a spider jumps, I'll hit myself with a Molotov. You've seen how powerful one turret is. If we could actually have multiple turrets, that would be amazing. That's my next step, to have like at least two. Three is too much, but two is perfect. I hate how they stand and the moment you get close, then they go for your ankles. Like, ha, gotcha. We hit the bear. Do that, because there's going to be another bear falling down. Okay. Nope. For the vultures, we have to use ranged, unless they're right above us. I should probably close this door over here, just for safety reasons. Was that a die wolf just now? I think there's a die wolf mixed in. That's awesome. Darkness Falls has gotten much harder. Now there's spiders. We have to be careful when we open up this window. Actually, I want to see. I want to show you guys what's happening on that side. So what we're going to do... We're going to go and say DM. I'm just going to get these over here. It almost felt like the gun was stuck in automatic just now. Well, oh, there's no vultures. They are bears over here, so we have to be careful of that. Get rid of this dude. Do this. Do that. Oh, they've already started destroying the stairs. Now you go P, the key next to that, F5. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That was almost a mistake, John. Okay, they fell down. Ooh, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like outside, but not at the cost of my base. I should be careful. Okay, we have to repair this one. Uh, do this. Do that. That scared the crap out of me. I thought the vulture was dive bombing me just now. I'll just throw a Molotov before I show you guys, because then at least there's light down there. Is the way I do this where I go out of my body? But there's no light, so you guys can't see properly. I have to deal with these guys first, because they can get through. Right, they're going up that side, but this side of here is completely destroyed from cop explosions. So we're just going to do this. P key next to it, F5. Okay, nice. Other than that, the base seems to be holding nicely. F7, F7. Yeah, they've done quite a bit of damage downstairs already. They are going for the gate, but there's no way they can make it to me that way. This will be here. We have to make sure the stairs are fully concrete next time. Uh, since last time, they didn't do any damage over here to the block. I was like, nah, let's not upgrade them. Now I regret it. Okay, P key key next to it, F5. And then F7, F7, no, F7, F7. And then we have to go and say DM disabled. Okay, that just now broke my water and, H not water, my HP and stamina for some reason. So after the horde, I'll just quickly go and fix that. I think there's actually a way to get that back. I don't know how. They're climbing on the vehicle and off or something. There's so many corpses over here. We can't really check right now. <laughs> At least there's a nice source of bones right now. But yeah, this over here bugs out sometimes, but you can easily go and fix it by getting on your vehicle and off or relogging. That happened to me the first time when I broke my one server. It was a Darkest Fall server, and just for fun, we spawned in, like, for the last stream, just hundreds of demons. 
And I completely broke the server. I can't see my HP right now, which is really bad. I can easily lose my everything right now. Not know it. No, 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 no. See, when they go invisible like that, it, feel, it feels like they can actually move through blocks sometimes. I have seen one defense where they move through these. I mean, heck, this one was just here, so they are still moving through it. They're stealthing past it, basically. I'm running out of 9 more ammo. I have to make sure that we constantly... I, I need to upgrade you know it. So this doesn't go under 41. We'll go for pistol crafting. Like so. For now, that's enough. Pistol crafting like that. So now if we repair this pistol, it's going to say 41. So for now, that's our best weapon. And then we have five points left. Let's go for... Science crafting, so we can make tier 3 mods. Oh, did I just see you break something? Please don't break something over there. Is my turret... Yeah, my turret still has ammo in it. Damn. It's creepy to see some spiders stand up and run. Man, that turret's awesome. I think I'm going to save my points. The rest we get right now, I'm going to save it for morning. Because now, while you're in action, you're going to make dumb mistakes, dumb choices, which you don't want to spend points into. We need to see if we can get something for the recoil for the uh, rifles. Because rifles in Darkness Falls are insanely OP. At least in A21 they were. I can't wait to see what the Hellhound's gonna look like. It's gonna look badass. The new V1 models for all the animals. Okay, only 200 shots left. It's almost morning at least, so that's okay. While they're on fire, we have to hit them with this so that the rad stops. Remember, we have a rad remover on this. So the, the, the fire, they're healing themselves because they're radiated, even though they're on fire. But if you hit them with this, it stops their regen and they die. See, that spider just now is the ideal example of why I did this over here, the ramps. He tried jumping, but he couldn't make it. We might have to drive away in the morning. And then just come back and loot. Because last time I forgot to loot until the next episode. I should probably save this one a bit and start using other ammo, but... There you go, bye-bye. And the moment they get shocked, they can't fly as, uh, as good or as well. And the turret's like, yoink! Okay, that's not good. Reload! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, where are you? You guys finally made my turret run out of ammo, damn. No, there's a demo! No! What hit the demo just now? They're still able to make it up, but there's demos. I need to pick that up somehow. Sure, that's helped me a lot, but we can't afford it. Uh, for, we can't afford for it to hit the demos in the chest. Ooh, that was almost a mistake. Now more enemies will make it over because I removed that. But if it hits the demo in the chest, we're so screwed. I don't even know what hit the previous demo. Was it a uh, Molotov? Was it uh, its friend? Was it the, the sledge over here? It could have been a Molotov because I didn't throw one, but still. Questions need to be answered. You can kill a demo with explosives, you just have to throw a few and chain them. And even then it's like, oh, will it, will it not? Oh, they've done too much damage to that pillar. That's not good. That pillar's actually taken a lot of damage. The one keeping the stairs up. So it's a good thing we're moving. <laughs> it's a really good thing we're moving because this base has taken a beating. Level 51 already. The problem is we're not finishing, uh, finishing them off over here, and then they fall down. 
And when they fall down, they explode on the stairs, which makes the stairs look like they're looking right now. Now the vultures are coming from the side where I want to throw Molotovs. Great. With my luck, the moment I open up that door, they're going to fly right in. Come on, turret. Do your thing. Kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh no, they destroyed the stairs enough. Oh crap. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, now they're going for the workstations. At least they're not going for the blocks they're not supposed to go for. That's cool. No, nope, 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 nope. Please don't destroy the farm. Please don't destroy my base. That's all I'm asking for. Okay, yeah, we'll have to run. We'll have to run to make sure they don't do any more damage to the base severe. I'm just going to run right out. Jump. Please don't break a leg. Please don't break a leg. Please don't break a leg. Ooh, the demo's messed up over here. Okay, we have to go as far as this town. And once we get back, they should be gone. Holy crap. Yeah, that demo's at the end really mess with my base. I want to go see if they made any holes. Because, as you guys know, I have a dirt floor. I didn't put any player blocks. Because when the cops explode, they don't do damage to dirt. But when demos explode, they make holes. They make pits. And unfortunately, we didn't upgrade all of the stairs to concrete. Because one, we didn't have. And two, I was like, nah, that's going to be a waste. Now I regret not doing that. Because we really needed those blocks to be stronger. At least the base held until morning, which is really good. I'm going to take the long way around back. Make sure that they despawn completely. And then hopefully by the time we get there, there's only like one or two enemies left. I think next, instead of going for more classes, we should try and master the mechanic class. If we can make ourselves a box truck for all the storage, after Horde Knight, we place that down and we can loot everything. There might still be a few Night Stalkers left, so we have to be careful of that. Just quickly stand over here, where it's a little bit safer. Okay, it seems like everything has despawned, hopefully. <laughs> With my luck, I go in there and all of a sudden something's bad. But yeah, these loot bags, uh, they don't despawn for a while. Last time I completely forgot about the loot. And next episode, they were still here, so that's awesome. Okay, I'll have to relog the game as well to get my HP and stamina back. I completely bugged out just now. I'm gonna go check downstairs after I put all this ammo and stuff away how much damage has been done. Okay, before we go down there, let's just make sure this is reloaded. Because if there's still something left, it's gonna shoot it uh, before we even see it. And I can't imagine how much damage... Oh, hello, Wolfie. Nice. Meat. You have to be careful in case there's screamers because of all the heat over here now. Or if there's still a... Night Stalker left. The nice thing is at least if there's a Night Stalker, the turret should help us. Come on, give me something good. Oh, oh, oh. That's why I want to put points in. That's a good thing I didn't spend all those points. I want to go over here. Quality Joe. Max it out. I uh, will also go for fast eddy so we can loot stuff faster. You can see the loot bags now open up way, 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 way quicker. I'm just going to grab everything and afterwards see what I got. I don't want to spoil it to myself. At least it seems when a demo explodes. Let me just go and sort this. When a demo explodes, it only does damage to the top layer, which actually saved us in this instance. Um, obviously, if there's another demo exploding, the soul gets deeper and deeper and deeper. But yeah, unfortunately, like I said, cops, when they, they can explode over here and not do any damage. Then come the demos, they do one explosion like that, and damn. We got a Winchester rifle. Awesome. I'm just glad they didn't destroy any of the workstations over here, as far as I can see. But look at the damage over here. They completely uh, ruined the stairs, and they also completely ruined the door over here. I think I hear a screamer. It's either a screamer or it's just some kind of zombie waiting somewhere, but we have to be careful. If that is a screamer, this base is already completely destroyed, so we won't be able to do anything about it. I now need to go and just scrap everything. <laughs> we need resources like crazy right now. Uh, did we get anything really good from that loot? Let's just do this. 
We got the Winchester rifle, which is going to be a replacement for our lever action. Yeah, this rifle's better. The range is a little bit slower, max durability is lower, but it's because it's level 15. But already at level 15, it's better than this one over here. So we got the uh, we got that. Uh, did we get any other leather added? Added. Oh, this is better than our current one. Our current one's like a level 20. Uh, yeah, padded. It seems there's different variations. Awesome. This is the farmer glove, but it's also uh, padded. This over here was, I think, the scavenger or something. But uh, yeah, it's cool how Darkest Falls reworks the armors and stuff. But other than that, guys, we didn't really get anything good. We got a treasure map and we got some armor and that's about it. I was really hoping for like real legendary weapons or high tier weapons and stuff. I mean, this thing is good. Don't get me wrong, but it's not great. Okay, I'm going to have to go now and just do inventory management because we have a lot to do. Um, I think all of these crappier ones, I'm just going to literally go and scrap. Oh, wow, that scrapped instantly. Yeah, I need space. So I'm going to scrap everything, just do some inventory management over here. I think we next time we have to go to the snow biome over here. I don't have any points left. Uh, hopefully the insulated liners are enough. Because we need to put more points in over here. But now we can go over there and we can see if there's a proper place to set up there. Especially if we just put the next few points in, in here, we can live in the snow biome. It's going to be super dangerous, but the loot and everything is going to be way more worth it. But yeah, I'm going to do the inventory management. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys liked this episode, please smash that like button. Comment, subs, feedback, anything at all. Leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the, uh, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more 7 Days to Die Darkness Falls mod. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my 7 Days to Die server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.